This is the new Thor Bros Watts Link system. Uh, he has it on his website. I don't think he even shows this center link in the picture on the website. I think it's still the uh, plasma cut steel center. Um, I ordered this in March and I just got it last week. So long wait time, but it's a very nice product. Um, prices, I think he said he was gonna raise the price. So I'm like, if you're gonna get one, I'd go ahead and order it now and uh, hurry up and wait. But it is a very nice system. So what you see here is what you get in that system. Um, along with, I mean, you get two tabs for this side, but I think I'm just gonna use one. I took and took that one tab and welded the nut on the back side of the tab, drilled a hole in the step notch here, and then I'm gonna weld that, fully weld that tab to the step notch. I still need to get a shorter bolt, so. So setting this thing up, I uh, all I really had to do was get it centered, weld the tabs onto the axle, and then figure out where to mount the bars on the frame, and then cut these bars to length. And to figure out my bar length, I used Max Fish's book. He's got whole chapter on the watts link and then this is a calculator for the Saigata. Like I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's just the distance that that bar travels. So like if this was the top of that arc and this is the bottom of the arc, it's the difference there. So I've got seven inches of travel and that so I got it as 0.39. My frame is 31 and three quarters. So I started with 15.875 is basically center to center of those bars. So then I take half of this I got it and then my new bar length is 16.07 inches long. So that's what I'm going with. The good thing about this Thor Bros kit is it has the heim joint ends, so it's got left and right-handed thread, so if I need to adjust it, I can. But yeah, that's, that's kind of the rundown of that Watts link. Uh, the rest of this stuff is on the rear end is also Thor Bros. Their four bar system their Gen 2 or 3 bridge kit, and bag brackets. So yeah, rear suspension is complete, the Orbrose system. Give you a little walk around of it. It's coming along nicely. I'm having a good time putting it together. Recently, I put, let's see, I put the turbo crossover pipe in. I had to modify that significantly. It was probably inch and a half longer because it's made for a, oh, like a Chevy Silverado. And that flex hose is typically in underneath the transmission for gaining a little room, I've moved it to the side, cut the uh, wastegate flange off, and shortened it, and then put a uh, V band on this side because it comes with a three bolt manifold flange. So I wanted the, the V band. I'll move that wastegate flange up to the turbo manifold. And then I made this cross member to hold the compressors and the tank I made these cantilever brackets and the airlift performance p3 manifold will go right there so yeah i'm very happy with how it's turning out i hope it handles as well as it looks it should
good, but One link here, straight across on this side. It is gonna go get these two tabs, one of them longer than the other. For the taper in the frame, it's gonna go up under here. So I think that'll work out pretty good. So put you on time lapse and uh, cut some tabs and maybe do some welding. 